you're welcome to my channel if this is the first time you're stopping by you are highly welcome and if you're a returning viewer thank you so much for always stopping by today let's solve what you have on the board is a maths olympic question we are asked to find the value of x if 10 to the power of x plus 100 to the power of x is equal to uh, 1000 to the power of x first when you look at this all of them can be expressed as powers of 10 right yes because this is same thing as um this is 10 to the power of x plus but 100 is 10 to the power of 2 yes 10 to the power of 2 that is 10 times 10 is 100 okay so we can write this as 10 to the power of 2 raised to the power of x okay is equal to now, 1,000 is 10 to the power of 3. So, 10 to the power of 3 raised to the power of x. Okay. Um, recall that a to the power of m to the power of n, this is a law of indices, is the same thing as a to the power of mn, that is m times n, and if that is the true the case, that means we can we can interchange this and this without changing the value of that, right? So that means we can write this as a to the power of n to the power of m. Okay, so let's do that here and here. So this is ten to the power of x plus two ten to the power of x raised to the power of two is equal to 10 to the power of x raised to the power of 3. Okay, now we have 10 to the power of x, 10 to the power of x, 10 to the power of x. So let's call it something to make this to look less ambiguous, okay? To simplify the equation, let 10 to the power of x equal to y, all right? That means we can rewrite this equation as y plus y squared is equal to y cubed. Okay, now if we should take everything to the right hand side or to everything to the left hand side, let's subtract y to the power of 3 from both sides of this equation. So we'll have y plus y squared minus y cubed is equal to y cubed minus y cubed okay all right then we'll have that y plus y squared minus y cubed is equal to zero so this is what we are going to have so let me recopy what i just got here this is what we have now that's y plus y squared minus y cubed is equal to 3. Okay, now let's factorize y out. Why am I doing that? I've looked at this equation and this equation is a polynomial and I don't want a cubic polynomial. So I want to reduce it to a quadratic equation. Okay, so that means that I need to have uh, my the highest power of my y should be 2, right? Okay, so to do that now, this is what I will do. I'll factorize y out since they have y in common. I'll factorize it out. So y divided by y is 1 plus y squared divided by y is y minus y to the power of 3 divided by y is y squared is equal to 0. Now let's divide through. Let's divide both sides of the equation by y. And when we do that, we will have that 1 plus y minus y squared is equal to 0. Now, I have a quadratic equation that I can say, solve very fast instead of a polynomial, a cubic polynomial. All right, if this is the first time you're coming across this channel, please don't hesitate to click on that. Um, <laughs> yes, please subscribe and then on your notification bell so that you'll be notified anytime I upload a new video okay so we have a quadratic equation on the board and i want it to write this because 
you know, in a quadratic equation, you're supposed to have your square first, followed by your y, then the other one. So if I want to do that, that means I need to divide this through by minus 1. And when I do that, I will now have y squared minus y minus 1 is equal to 0. So I've now rearranged this the way it's supposed to be. Now, this is not an equation I can solve by factorization. No, that is factorization by grouping. So we are going to use the quadratic equation formula, also known as the almighty formula to solve it. So if you need a detailed tutorial on how to use the quadratic equation formula to solve any quadratic equation, the video is here in this channel, okay? So we are going to have that y is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So this is the quadratic equation formula. So we now have that our y is equal to, but before that, our a is what? The coefficient of y squared. So our a is equal to 1, our b is equal to minus 1, and our c is equal to minus 1. Let me explain. Our b is the coefficient of y. That is minus 1. And our c is the constant, which is minus 1. So let's substitute this into this to get the value of y. But remember, we are not looking for the value of y. So we are going to get the value of y and then substitute it to get and then use it to get the value of x. Okay. All right. So we'll now write that our y is equal to minus bracket. Our b is minus 1. Okay. Plus or minus square root of b is minus 1. So it's going to be minus 1 squared minus 4 times a is 1 and c is minus 1, okay? All right, everything divided by 2 times our a is what? Our a is 1. Okay, then we have that y is equal to minus times minus, we give us plus, so we have 1 plus or minus square root of now, minus 1 squared is 1. Then, 4 times minus 1 is minus 4. Minus 4 minus, this minus times minus 4 becomes plus 4. Divided by 2 times 1 is 2. So, let me repeat what I got here. Here, this is what we have. That y is equal to 1 plus or minus square root of 1 plus 4 divided by 2. So we have that y is equal to 1 plus or minus square root of 5 divided by 2. Now, in this case, we have two values of y. 2. Yes, the first value is that y is equal to 1 plus square root of 5 over 2. That is plus. The second value is that y is equal to 1 minus square root of 5 over 2. Now, recall that y is equal to 10 to the power of x, okay? 10 to the power of x. That means that for this side, we'll have that 10 to the power of x is equal to 1 plus root 5 over 2. Then for this side, we have that 10 to the power of x is equal to 1 minus root 5 over 2. Now, if you analyze this side, you notice that you are going to get a negative value. And because you are going to get a negative value, that means we have no real root there. So no real root means no solution. So we are not going to make use of this side of the solution. We are just going to concentrate on this side. Okay? So for here, we have 10 to the power of x is equal to 1 plus root 5 over 2. The only way we can solve this is if we introduce log reading, okay? So let's take log of both sides of this equation. So we now have that log 10 to the power of x is equal to log 1 plus root 5 all over 2, okay? All right. Now, the power rule states that you bring this to the other side. So this power comes down to multiply log. 10. So we have x log 10 is equal to log 1 plus root 5 over 2.
Okay, so this is what we have. X log 10 is equal to log 1 plus root 5 over 2. All right, now log 10 is 1. So what we have here is x times 1, which is x, is equal to log 1 plus root 5 over 2. And this is our final solution. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Bye.